Hello and good day. This is Brian Zaboni. I'm the business development manager at Podium in North America. I wanted to first welcome you to this demo on demand and essentially the overall purpose is to give you a top level overview of what Partium can do, uh, especially when it comes to identifying a part and basically how we use that quick identification in different areas, being that it's uh, industrial parts search for maintenance or if it's for retail, B2B, B2C, um, different, different areas because if we can identify the part very fast, I obviously makes things a lot more efficient for your uses and then what you do with that information um, can only help in different areas. So the overall goal again is to give you a quick overview uh, as far as some of the features that we have. There definitely are more things that we can do and that can be um, work through depending on your need. Um, so again, my contact information, I'll show it at the end of the video too, um, where you can send me questions, comments, if you want to schedule a separate um, call to discuss your um, situation, scenario, maybe some of the issues and some of the opportunities, more than willing to talk to you about it in further detail. For this example, uh, we'll be talking about um, identification of this component specifically and it is based on all of the uh, master data that's loaded within the Partium cloud and we'll be using our web-based um, search interface um, to identify the parts. So essentially what you'll see is this is our main um, interface that we have specifically uh, if it's not being integrated into a, a existing user, we can actually use uh, SDK's APIs to integrate it perhaps within an existing search, or if we need to have a, a separate white label um, application, web-based application, we can provide that too. So all that can be designed to fit your needs. Um, what we're going to identify through here, at least show you descriptions are, we have somatic um, text and image search um, where we can identify or at least pull information from that to um, basically identify what this part is, maybe even without text and how it links. Um, we can identify the excerpt, exact um, part number, manufacturing, um, some of the measurements, um, bill of materials, different filters, and of course we can scan barcodes, um, different QR codes or other data matrix if it's uh, linked within your master data. So. Let's start and show some examples of this. So we'll start first with the image search. Um, we have um, different components that within here, and here is an example of this part that's actually installed. And what we'll do is upload this. What I can do too is obviously I can crop this down so it's isolated just on the part I want to look at. Very useful, especially if you're looking at a large machine that has a bunch of different components. So you just focus your search on a specific part. Um, at least to help the AI and give a very clear result um, and not confuse it by giving it too many things if possible. All right, so what it's now doing is turning through all the master data, identifying parts, and what's even more important is it's taking a look at the image and it's not looking for a specific image match per se. And essentially you can see the very top level we can get a very clear match and we found the part you can see very clearly with the red handle and the, um, the valve. It pulls out and it's ranked very high because most of the criteria, in fact, probably all in this scenario are linked very high, so it ranks very high. Now, the one thing that is very interesting and notable is note that the images, or at least the parts below, do not have an image, but the content of it, it does show that it is a valve, it does have a handle, it has a water pump, so it is pulling from that image different text. So the AI can recognize different features enough to link it to the master data. So the key part and why this is important is Partium's um, major strength of what we can offer right now is that you do not need images for all of your master data for it to work properly. Our AI can basically extract the information from the photo and link it to the text that's provided within the master data. Okay, so let, let's drill down a little bit further as far as identifying this part, because as a user, you have some options. Say, for example, you want to purchase it. We can have this add to cart button, which right now it generates an email that can be linked to whoever you want it to be within your organization or you can link it perhaps within your e-commerce um, platform 
So you can take that data specifically, link it to whatever your e-commerce platform is, and then you can create the procurement and make sure that that transaction is completed as needed. Right now, we would add it to a cart, generate an email just as a standard. Okay. The other thing is, say that I uh, say that I'm working within a on on site or in the field or on the floor or i'm not really sure or if i'm a customer at home and i want to find out is this the right part for my application um, i can confirm with an expert which basically links into an agent portal application what is going to do is saying that, that this is the part that i want to confirm it was the basic information that was generated from my initial search I can upload other images. Say, for example, I'm taking a photo of the part that I pulled out of my uh, out of the pipes anyway, and I want to say, well, here's another image just to confirm that that's the right parts. So I have the original image that I used for the search, the results that we had from the database. I can upload other images, and then if there's other parts of the search that I was using, either with descriptions, exact terms, or anything else, um, that would all be included with what is being sent over to um, the field service agent, okay? I can also add some more information saying, you know, is, you know, help, is this correct? Um, anything that you wanna write or call me, uh, anything that's gonna be sent over and this whole form together um, will be sent to somebody that can help, but note too that it's gonna be very easy for the user to quickly ask for this help and it's providing a lot of information up front where typically if you're on the phone, you're asking questions back and forth. Our goal again is to make this simple and easy and as efficient, not only for the user, but also for the um, person within your company that is helping your customer. We wanna make this very simple and useful. And this is proven to be very uh, helpful, especially for a lot of applications, okay? So we're gonna continue back and look at some other searches. We've talked about um, uploading the images. Let's talk about bill of materials. In this example, we can take your master data depending on how it's organized. And in this example, we're gonna start with machine one. Machine one can be, say it's a um, vehicle that's out in the field that needs servicing. We can say that it's a, a machine within a, a cell on a plant floor that needs to have maintenance. Whatever is assigned to machine one or whatever we're gonna call that, here's a list of all the parts that were assigned to that. You'll see that there's components here, some with images, some without. Okay, so as a user, I know I'm a machine one and I wanna isolate my search and at least through that catalog, that's everything assigned to machine one. So anything going forward from that, it's going to isolate my search to anything that's assigned to machine one, which would then again make my search much quicker and more relevant. I don't want to pull out um, components that are used in machine that's not even relevant to what I'm searching for. The other thing that's kind of um, useful and helpful for the user, say that I'm in front of machine one, it's good. I'm in charge of that and that's fine, but I don't know every part. I don't know specifically what this um, component is. I don't know what it's called. I'm not sure what the part number is, but I can describe it. Say it has a red handle. So for that, I can just type in, type in red handle. By the way, um, spelling errors, if it's close enough, that's okay, it will still work. But no, out of machine one, I say red handle. First and foremost, here's a part that has a red handle. Here's the part that I've been looking for, great. It's second, um, here's something that has handle within the title. So things that are pretty close, even this T piece, that is very similar to this component that has that T piece in there too. So the AI recognizes again with text only that it's under this machine one category. It's taking the text and assigning it to the image. And I can say very clearly that it's assigning it to the image only because look at even with under this title, the text that's assigned to the top two items does not have red or handle located within the text. So it is literally taking the text, aligning it with images and text within the master data, and it's selecting the um, high probability based on the ratings of what has a red handle within the master data. Again, very powerful, and it shows too that um, you, the user doesn't necessarily need to know exactly 
what the part number is. It's very useful, user friendly, and again, quicker to be able to identify because if I needed to take the time, look up the part number, it's time that it could be spent perhaps going to somewhere else and it's time wasted too. If I can just at least describe it quickly and I can still have the opportunity to ask for help if I go confirm with an expert or what have you. So point is it makes it very um, quick and makes it very user friendly to get the results that you want based on your master data. Um, starting over a new search as well. We've talked about this um, somatic text. You, again, you can type in the uh, um, part number if you know it, um, just as a typical search. You know the part number if you know the manufacturer. It will give you everything that is linked to that. Um, the other things that you can do, we've talked about the materials. Let's talk about filters. If you have an idea, say that you, I don't know, you have a bunch of fuses and you know that there is a bunch of different amperages that you can choose from. Well, I know for mine, uh, I know it's a 16 amp fuse. Click on that option, click on the filter, and it'll give you everything within your master data. So again, it isolates your search within something that at least is known, so you can at least get more information um, going forward. Okay, so the other things that we talked about, somatic text, somatic image search, actual text, bill of materials and filters. And again, we can scan barcodes, um, QR codes and um, data matrix. For this example, we don't have those loaded within the master data, but understand it would work the same way that you're taking a picture of the part. You would just isolate it um, to that barcode within the text and the barcode. And as long as it's met linked within the master data, you get the high rankings for that. So it starts to read that it just by clicking on this browse, it will start to look for specific barcodes instead of looking for a component with a red handle, so to speak. So that in general is a very top level um, view of what um, Partium is offering right now. There are many different features that we can provide within um, this solution. Um, we do, and I haven't talked about it, we offer analytics as well, where we can look as far as even within a specific user parts. Times these parts have been searched. Um, we can run reports over months, over years and give you an idea as far as maybe what is your top search parts, maybe parts that aren't being searched where you can kind of identify as far as um, value add even within your inventory. Um, other things that we can start to look at too is as far as you know, looking at e-commerce side, it's been very important to further enhance that side of it, identifying the part and how we can further link it into um, increasing sales. All that is part of analytics too. Um, other things that we do talk about too, it has to do with the overall um, data security. This data typically is located um, and extracted and put onto our cloud. We have ways of extracting the data, especially as your inventory um, changes. Different things we can do that. So that in mind, that is where I would like to end this overview um, and also welcome at the same time. If you have any questions, my email is on the slide down below. Um, give me a call. Uh, we can set up a meeting to talk in a little bit more detail, but hopefully this helps give you an idea as far as what Partium can do and maybe gives you some ideas as far as how maybe it can further enhance either what you're doing today um, or perhaps um, maybe if this is something that hasn't been started, you can um, give me a call. I can share um, some lessons learned as far as what works well. But it really starts with getting that um, information, questions, and again, um, having an open discussion, which I'm more than willing to um, do with you. So again, thank you very much for um, your time looking at this. And if you have any questions, that would be great. Let me know. And I look forward to talking to you very soon in the future.